Let's have a look at how database and network fit together to enable the state of the blockchain computer. First, think about the database layer. Blockchain databases are append only. That means that once data is added, it cannot be deleted or changed anymore. Data is encoded in transactions. This can be information about transferring cryptocurrency, or it can contain either new smart contract code or a call of a smart contract function. Transactions are bundled into blocks by validators. These can be miners, like in Bitcoin for example. Each block contains a signature of the previous block, so the whole dataset can be verified and validated. Now let's look at the network layer. The network consists of many nodes. In most blockchain networks, all nodes are equal. Every node can keep a full copy of all the blocks. In order to transfer cryptocurrency, add a new smart contract, or call a smart contract function, a node can broadcast a new transactions to its peers. The peers then pass along the transaction until every node in the network knows that our node wants to add a new transaction. A validator will eventually pick up our transaction and bundle it into a block. Every new block spreads through the network and is downloaded by every node. The blockchain computer becomes possible if we think of every new block as an update to the state of this virtual network computer. Transactions can contain computational steps that influence or create new smart contracts. Smart contracts are our gateway to interact with a list of transactions that are associated with it and form its state. Now, how can a user interact with the state layer of the blockchain? We can build applications that interact with smart contracts via a node to either read information from the network or send new transactions. If you want to learn more about blockchain, check out our online courses at Binan Lab Academy and also subscribe to this channel.